So a really common question that I get asked about intermittent fasting is, what can I consume during my fasting window? So I know that sounds like a bit of an oxymoron because obviously it's a fast. So just to be clear, you can't eat anything, but there are options as to what you drink. Um, and that actually makes it really exciting because it means that you, you, you can change things up. You don't have to have the same thing every single day. And it means that you don't have absolutely nothing, which is also a plus. So obviously you can drink water. Um, and I recommend water with a little bit of Himalayan or Celtic sea salt to replace electrolytes. You can also drink black coffee. And the brand that I recommend is like a really amazing organic brand full of antioxidants. The link to get 50% off your first purchase is in my bio if you want to check it out. It's called Exhale Coffee. Really, really uh, amazing coffee if you're, if you're a coffee fan like me. You can also drink black tea and you can also drink certain herbal teas. You don't want to drink a herbal tea that's going to have any fruit pieces or anything like that because we need to keep our insulin levels low. That's my puppy. <laughs> Um, no, you can also make a drink uh, that you may have seen me post on my stories called Keto Coffee or otherwise known as Bulletproof Coffee. It was created by um, Dave Asprey, founder of Bulletproof, and is basically a blend of coffee, butter and MCT oil. Sounds rank. <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. It's like the best latte ever. Um, and whilst it's, you know, not true, true fasting, uh, it keeps you in a form of fasting because if we're not consuming any protein or any carbohydrate, we're keeping our insulin levels stable, then they're, they're not rising. And, and therefore we're in like a fast mimicking mode. And what I love about having Bulletproof coffee or keto coffee is that it feels like a bit more of a meal. Um, so I'm having one, I'm having one this morning. Feels like a little bit more of a meal. Um, and I mean, for me, I love the taste of it. So it feels like a treat. Um, and, uh, and also the benefits that you get from it help to keep your appetite lower. Um, so sometimes, you know, when you're starting intermittent fasting, people can feel like quite hungry, you know, they're not used to not having breakfast. So um, having the keto coffee can help, you know, especially when you're starting intermittent fasting. Um, and also that, so the MCT oil, which stands for medium chain triglycerides, the benefit of having that is that it helps to, um, it helps to get us into ketosis quicker, which is what we're aiming for when we are fasting, but without having to follow the whole keto diet protocol, cut carbs, et cetera, et cetera. But essentially what happens is when we fast, our bodies become fat adapted, meaning that rather than using glucose carbs as fuel, uh, we our bodies have to find another form of, of fuel to function and they do so by breaking down our own fat which is pretty cool right <laughs> so yeah if you want to learn more about intermittent fasting I've got a free guide in my bio I also have a, a challenge which is starting at the end of the month um, and you can check that out in my bio as well if you like really want to learn more about intermittent fasting and make this a lifestyle which I highly recommend there are so many benefits to it sorry my puppy's gone crazy this morning um Anyway, I just wanted to, yeah, I just wanted to clear up that question because it's one that, you want to say hi? <laughs> um, it's a question that a lot of people have is, um, you know, what can I have during fasting? And actually, the one, the question that most people ask is, can they have lemon, like water and hot lemon? Um, and unfortunately, no. Um, I know that that's like a really popular choice and, you know, super lovely to have and you can have it at other points during the day. Um, but just don't start your morning with it if you're planning to fast because the lemon juice, of course, contains, even though it's very low levels of fructose, enough that's going to um, take you out of your fast. So, you know, re researchers say that probably um, like one slice of lemon in some warm water, whatever water is going to be fine. But like actually squeezing the lemon isn't isn't going to like that's going to take you out of fasting. So I prefer just to be cautious and not drink. No, crispy, <laughs> And not drink lemon, um, lemon and water in the morning. Um, and then you can have it, you know, you can have it at lunchtime instead. Um, so anyway, 
<laughs> that was that was my uh my my morning um my morning coffee coffee time with you guys and interrupted by frisbee <laughs> have a great day bye